Hi, my name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, please consider hitting that red subscribe button. And this is going to be a part two to my mental health experience story um, in the hospital. And if you haven't seen <clears throat> the first part of that video, I will link it down below. Um, but I realized that after filming that video, I left out a huge chunk of like not really the hallucinations that i was going through but um the like i guess you could say they were hallucinations the hallucinations and delusions and um things that i was experiencing that i think that are important for people to realize that um who have bipolar because that's ultimately what i got diagnosed with um <clears throat> So I was hallucinating and delusional, like I was, um, they diagnosed me in the ER with um, mania and delirium, <clears throat> and uh, those were terms that I had never <clears throat> heard of before, <clears throat> excuse me, that I had never heard of before, so I had to Google them, and uh Mania goes along with um, bipolar, and delirium goes with delirium because it's its own illness or its own part of the illness. Um, <clears throat> and I was, um, I just had a lot on my heart that I just kept spewing. Like, I had no filter. So, like, everything that I was feeling, experiencing, like, I just let it all go. Like, um, and a lot of it had to do with, um, social media and social media bullying that I was experiencing. Um, and a lot of it had to do with, um, losing friendships that I, uh, was in for super long periods of time. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> and I also... Um, I don't remember if I talked about it in the last video or not, but if I did, I'm just going to repeat it again. Um, the way that we knew that something was wrong, or I didn't know that something was wrong, but, well, I mean, I felt weird, but, like, I didn't think anything of it. I just was going about my life. But the way that people knew that <clears throat> something was wrong and that I needed help was I got super duper angry. And I was angry for like five days straight. So now that that's one of the things that I look for, you know, because obviously we, we want to prevent um, another one of these episodes and another one of these hospital admissions because <clears throat> it um, was the scariest thing that I ever have had to go through in my entire life. Um, not having control over yourself and then once they stabilize you, not having control again, and having to learn what your new normal is, what your triggers are, what your boundaries are, like make boundaries with people, cut off ties with people because they trigger you or whatever. All that stuff is all new and scary, you know. Uh, <clears throat> um, the way that they knew what was wrong was that I was super angry for about, three to five-ish days, three to four to five days, super angry, super irritable, super just, I was getting in fights with people online, I was, like, just super angry, like, people's opinions were annoying me, like, you know, not that I gave my opinion, but, like, I was, um, a couple days before I went into the hospital, I, um, wrote a comment on somebody's Facebook, Facebook thing, uh, just about, like, be careful what you post, like, da 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 like, you know, whatever, and then somebody verbally attacked me, saying that, oh, nobody would fight the girl in the wheelchair, and I'm like, do you know how stupid you sound, like, this is 1930, like, we can, like, if you really want to do, you know, whatever, like, I was just, like, defending myself, <clears throat> and I was, like, saying that I was much more than a diagnosis and I was much more than a girl in a wheelchair like I have a personality I can have a boyfriend I can do all those things get married you know whatever um do marry folk folk stuff <clears throat> uh 
Um, but we're a family, family, fam, blah, 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 blah. we're a family friendly, family friendly channel over here. So, um, <clears throat> and then that happened, and then somebody else like made me mad, and I got in a comment with them, and then my comment was deleted. So I was like, oh wow, my comments deleted. Like you can't handle other people's opinions, so I blocked them, and I was just blocking people left and right for like no reason. And um, the other thing that was happening was I was going on Instagram stories and I got blocked by one of my favorite service dog trainers and I'm really sad about it, but like it is what it is. I don't know what I did to be blocked because I went back because luckily all the lovely stories, thank God, were saved to my archive so I can go back and we can look like, God, that was really manic, you know, um, which... I guess I could see now where they were coming from, you know, but I don't really see what I did to be blocked by them, but whatever, it is what it is, no hate, I still look at their uh, thing through Google Chrome, because they're a, a public account, so yeah, anywho, <clears throat> I um, still do that, and you know, I can see their training and use some tips, you know. But, um, like, I just, I don't know. I got very, very angry at, like, certain influencers that I knew. Not that I knew, but that I followed. Like, I was like, you're not using your plat. Like, you have thousands and thousands of followers. Like, you could be using this for good. And, like, you know, you could be changing the world. But, like, instead you're posting your selfies. Like, you know? I just got super, super angry. And I feel like still the <clears throat> still the influencer thing is an issue um, that I deal with. Like, seeing people who have, like, 30, 30K, 40K, 50K, even 15K, even 10K, you know? followers and like I feel like they could be using their platform for so much more than just posting their selfies and posting their promo codes and posting their you know whatever you know because I don't want to go shopping when I go on Instagram like I like yeah maybe once or twice I'll use your promo code like you know whatever like um right now I'm in the process of buying shampoo and conditioner from someone um who owns their own business but like I just don't want to see my Instagram turn into influencer selfies and shopping. Um, but also at the same time, I don't want to see it be all of chronic illness either. Because, like, I want to have a balance between all three. Like, chronic illness, yes, because it's important to, <clears throat> um, it's important to, um, spread awareness and stuff like that. I totally get that. But then I don't want that to be 24-7 of what it is, you know? Um, and then the influencers, yes, I love the influencers. Like, you know, YouTubers and, you know, famous people. Like, I love that too. Um, and then I want the other third to be my friends, you know? But <clears throat> I was, like, hallucinating, thinking that the people that I was friends with were in the hospital with me. Like, I was thinking that they were my nurses or something. So I'd be like, oh my god, hi, Susie Smith. Like, I'm not going to use names, but I would be like, oh my god, hi, Susie Smith. Do you remember me? You blocked me when I stopped being friends, when I um, was friends with da-da-da-da-da. Like, you know what I mean? And my doctors were like, what the hell? Like, and my mom was like, will she remember any of this? And they were like, I don't know, probably, you know? And, um, I just had let a lot of myself go, like, a lot of myself just open up. It just felt like the floodgates just, like, poof, you know, um, because I just let it go. And I was like, well, I don't, like, you know, I'm in the hospital. Nobody can say anything. Like, I don't have my phone. I'm not posting or anything. So I just let it go. And I was like, well... I don't like this one because they're fake and, you know, I block them and, you know, I don't like this one because they're, you know, rude and they were rude to me and, you know, I had went through, um, even to this day, I still continue to go through my media and I continue to 
get rid of people that I don't, um, not that we don't share the same opinion, <clears throat> but, like, even some of my own family members, I'm not friends with them on social media anymore, because we just don't share the same opinion, we don't, we're not gonna agree to disagree, it's always gonna be an issue, um, I got rid of a couple of really dear friends that I thought, like, <clears throat> Because you guys can go check out the video, but I'll just basically give you a synop synopsis, synopsis of what happened. Um, there was a really dear friend of mine who I had to get rid of because we just couldn't agree, like, on anything. Um, <clears throat> because there was an accessibility issue. And I had brought it up. There was an accessibility issue, and I had brought it up in a public forum, and then my comment was deleted by the friend, and I was like, okay, what are we, 12? We can't have opposing opinions. Like, <laughs> learn how to argue if you're going to be in political science, you know. Um, and then, like... My cousin had went up to my mom because my cousin was friends with this person and she was like, can you just ask her to take the post down? And I'm like, I went to go take the post down and it was gone. I'm like, I didn't delete this. So I was pissed at my cousin for like months. We didn't speak for months. We, we're still not really speaking and we're still not social media friends um, because of differences in opinion, um, which I think is fine. Like. You know, it is, like, I'm not going to agree with everyone. Um, social media is my social media. It's my place to be who I want to be, to post what I want to post, to, you know, whatever. And um, my sister's wedding photographer um, just posted this morning that social media is kind of like a highlight reel versus, like, your real, like, your whole life. And, like, it's, like, a minute of your day um because instagram stories are a minute long you know or <clears throat> um i make like a 20 minute vlog every day that's 20 minutes of my six hour day that you guys see um so it's like a little snap like it's like like let's say i have i'm gonna pretend this is a spoon so let's say i get like six spoons a day you see like three and a half where you see like the tip the you see the tip of this you see you see the tip like you see the literal tip of my day <clears throat> you see bits and pieces you see what I want to show you what I want you to see what I want to remember about that day you don't see the crying, you don't see the panic attacks, you don't see the dog not listening, you don't see, like, any of the bad stuff, really. And I try to be real, but, like, there's some things that I don't want to show, like, when my dog is barking, um, <clears throat> because we're working on it, but, like, that's embarrassing to me when my service dog in training is barking, you know? Um, or, like, I don't know. But, like, it just, I don't know, like, I don't know. Um, definitely I got a lot on, off my chest about bullying and, like, how I felt about people on social media. And, um, I cleaned out a lot of people. I blocked nearly 100 people from my media, um, between Instagram and Facebook and I probably blocked a thousand on Twitter because I had a, I had an account with over a thousand followers including um Justin Bieber and Miles Parrish and Alyssa Rose and you know a lot of other people and I deleted it I had to let it go because I had a friend my former former best friend who um I was on Twitter with <clears throat> And a lot of our exchanges went down on Twitter. We met because of Twitter. Um, I wrote a college essay on her in Twitter. Um, 
for my English 096 class, which is my remedial English because I was too stupid to do better on the placement test. So I needed non-credit English, whatever, it doesn't matter, my first semester in college. Um, anyway, but I wrote, <coughs> I wrote an essay, it's probably still in my Google Doc somewhere, I need to delete it. Um, but like, I needed to delete Twitter because like I can't get on Twitter to this day, like I can't. Like I can scroll, like I can scroll on Google Chrome and be fine, but I physically cannot have the app. The app gives me anxiety, seeing the app, seeing people's tweets gives me anxiety, gives me issues, PTSD, flashbacks. And I'm not claiming that I have PTSD, but I've been through a lot in the last year and I've been through a lot in my life to claim that I do because I do like I really do get anxious when I see Twitter um just because it brings back memories like some good memories but some not so good memories of people bullying me on Twitter of people like just being themselves like whatever but yeah um definitely there was a lot of talk of bullying um and there was a lot of talk about people who are no longer in my life and social media just broke me and I was broken and it broke me down and I thought about leaving it for a while but I only ceased posting videos for two weeks on YouTube um <clears throat> YouTube um two weeks to get my mind straight to get the medication straight to get everything straight and then we were back to regularly scheduled programming. Um, but I'm not going to, like, go into, like, I couldn't go into like, specifics because, like, that's, like, personal to me. And, like, I don't want to give these people more attention than they already want because um, they're very attention-seeking people. So, but just know that social media literally broke me. Um, and I, I love it and I love media and I just love looking at it and I love like being part of YouTube communities, the vlogging community, the CP community, the, the mental health community, the doodle community, the um, uh, what you call it, the um, service dog community. Like I love all the communities that social media has brought to me but at the same time like there's a level of toxicity that I can no longer deal with. Like, it's, like, he, like, it's, like, here. Like, it's here right now. But then if it gets to here, I can't deal with it. I have to take breaks. Like, I've been pre-filming a bunch of videos. That's why you guys see a bunch of pre-filmed videos. Because I just can't deal with things right now. And, you know, whatever. So, yeah. That's the story of how social media broke me. <laughs>